Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome to some more Let's Play of EU4 as Croatia, where randomly, in a war with Sweden, we're going to take over some Scottish territory over here. Um, because, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, coalition may form, but not really. I don't think they're actually getting aggressive expansion from anything and going over here. Uh, we're going to take a bunch of Scottish territory, just so that we have... I mean, is it better for stability? No, I, no, I want a bunch over here. Because why not? Um, it would be great if I could just vassalize them, but I cannot do that. So we'll do that, and then I feel very bad about it, but I'm also going to take some of the Scottish cashola over here. All right, 98 says much of the wind to do. So I want Ayrshire because Ayrshire, and then we'll take a couple of neighboring bits over here. Done, done, done. Core. Um, we will probably have to do some pretty aggressive rebel stomping over here. Uh, so I'm, I suspect very much we're going to be moving a, a military over here. Uh, like, par having a permanent military presence in Scotland. Uh, culture conversion is happening. That's very good for us. We're going to peace out Poland soon. Probably just for cash. Um, just because the, this is definitely an area where we don't want more aggressive expansion. Yeah, see, there we go. And then we get the Holy War CBs. Yeah, England hates me back. Good for them. We get the Holy War CBs over here. You have a fort in the hills. That's not bad. I mean, to a certain extent, I'd like the fort in the middle to protect both of these. But uh, Ayrshire itself is grassland, um, which isn't the ideal place for it. So we'll do that. Plus, it's on the uh, English border, and that seems to make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We can't upgrade the fort right now. Um... Wow, yeah, you're all up in here. We can't upgrade the fort right now because we're doing the core. So, but that will definitely be something we look into. All right, we are looking to separate piece out Poland right now. And again, because of aggressive expansion concerns, I'm really not looking to take much. They are one of my rivals, so I could humiliate them. I mean, we're going to be way over capped on the power projection, but that's going to be okay. Um, I don't think I care about any of that. Or that, and we're not taking any land. So there you go. I'm just going to take some money, I'm going to take some money, and I'm going to humiliate them. Sounds great. And just for themselves, perfect. Uh, so let's bring you home. Let's also get a group of 10 transports ready to go. Might let this pop just to get a little bit more war score. Because I think with Sweden we can take a bunch of land and not worry about... Um, and not worry about coalitions. It should be far enough detached from some of our others. There you go, we got up to 92% over there. 92% uh, war score as well, as a bonus. Okay. Oh, I may have to flip some occupations. Um, it's, it's possible that I could have used a different piece for it as well. Um, but let me just go ahead and do this, just to make sure. That the forts are occupied by Denmark. Well, you know what? I'll do all these. It'd be nice if there was a bulk button. But just because it's going to avoid me accidentally giving myself something over here which isn't really going to be as helpful. Now, first of all, return cores. There you go. These are all Danish cores already that they'll send back. That's going to be great. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not even a bunch of aggressive expansion because of the returning. Um... So that much is good. Do I want to feed more land to Denmark? I think the answer is yes. Because right now, it's not, they don't have to core this stuff. Right? They already have cores. So the stability shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I probably still want to look for war reps and a bunch of money. So, we're going to give Denmark... 
This would go to Croatia because it's not occupied. Right. And that. And that would be Denmark. Okay, so what I have to do... I mean, we can reach here, but this would be disconnected, which isn't great. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to siege this and then flip it over to Denmark. And then we'll see exactly what gives them. So we're just... Clearly, what, what's happening is we're not piecing out quite yet. Because I don't... I can't give... As far as I know, I can't give to Denmark land that's not occupied by anyone. I can only take it for myself. And yeah, they're, they're sieging some stuff in my territory, but I don't care about that. I guess what I could do is... I could start more of my fort building. So that would be defense, sort by cost. So the cheapest places are the places that already have the level 4s. And this is a level 2. I'm just going to wait on that. I will do all the places that have a level 4. We'll assume we're okay with what, where we've got stuff. So really it's about these two. Maybe yeah, we could give them like a complete state down here, right? Rather than taking Calmore and... Bo Houston. We could just focus on giving them the state of Scotland. Siege, siege, siege. Siege faster. Siege faster. Siege faster. Arrgh. Okay. And flip this to Denmark. Okay, let's take another look at this then. So let me re-clear. We and again, we definitely want to return all the cores. That's a no-brainer. I guess this is going to be disconnected, but it is cored, so deal with it. So the, actually, they are going to get a whole state, so that's fine. I think I still want to take the money for myself. All right, and then we see those. It drops their liberty desire. <clears throat> It's too bad returning the cores doesn't drop Liberty Desire as well. I like it! Done. 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 We have an embiggened Denmark. Hopefully, they're going to be stable. I could keep some troops over here to give them some protection. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be needed. I think I can bring my war fleet home. Maybe I'll park you... I don't know where I'm going to park you. Over here is fine. Um, we're working on building our transports. There's still the war over here going on with the Great Horde, which is clearly being won by our side, despite me not doing anything. Okay, access rights are closing down. We're at 4 of 4 over here, which is all groovy. Wait, did we complete our annexation? Oh no, it's there, Crete! I just missed it. Culture conversion's done. Um, wow, Afghanistan over in Crete doing... I gotta say, that is a kick-ass flag, Afghanistan. Wow. That is really cool looking. All right. Um, so I think these guys just have to walk home, assuming we still have access rights. That is an awkward walk back home. I could wait for our boats to finish, but... Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to split you in half. I'm going to have half of you guys take the awkward walk back home. And the rest of you are just going to be prepared to boat to Scotland once these transports are done. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Fort-wise, this one here, it is in the mountains, which does make it a really good fort location. But, no, you know what? I think I do want it here. So I'm going to have to upgrade you once the culture conversion is done. Fine, fine, fine. Denmark. Um, how you doing over here? Zero liberty desire. Opinion. Support loyalist. Oh! Oh, it didn't actually list the uh, liberty desire decrease for me returning cores, but it must have counted. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so, I mean, that's going to tick down eventually, but so will the uh, force religion. I mean, the Force Religion I don't think really helps with the loyalty, but it does make sure that, you know, we've got a pretty good relationship over here. 
overall. We got the consort marriage ties. Yeah, hopefully you're going to be good and stable. Now, the bigger this is, I think the harder it is for them to ever get integrated with me. And we might get some shenanigans later on. We'll see. Ottomans declare war on the Mamluks. Maybe it's a good time to go after the Ottomans. Mm hmm. Okay, the transports are being built. Furry separatists. Okay, yeah. My good dudes that are just sitting over here. I'm going to move into Zagreb. Although, I guess that's where the other army was coming to. But... Park I'm just going to get these guys over here and then put them on rebel stomping duty. Now you're pretty far away from being an issue. It looks to me like there's still some rebellion problems over there, so I will help out Crete a little bit. Oh, you know what would really help them out is if I actually went and, got and kicked some ass. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Rebel stomping be damned. Sorry, sorry, Crete. I should have come down and helped you sooner. Just waiting for the last transport to be built. Ooh. Nice production buildings. First of all, anywhere here that's cheaper is already using a slot for the taxation building. So maybe I should build all of them. I don't know. What we need is next level workshop building. Is that the next tech level? I think we're close, but no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Anic Vassal still happening, slowly but surely. Um. Come on, last ship. Get in there. I mean, I suppose I could have started the transportation stuff already, but meh. Um, do I want to merge all of these together for safety? It doesn't really matter, but I guess there's no there's no real concern with having these guys parked here either. And let some ship upgrades be done. Maybe I will separate you then. Just because some guys are being repaired. Alright, you've got automatic transportation. So what's going to happen is you guys are going to get ferried over here, please. And then we can always build some more troops in that area too. What I would like to do, I think, is accept Scottish culture. I don't think I'm going to culture convert Scotland. I mean, at a certain point, like, when it's get later in the game, you're not going to get the payoff period from the culture conversion. Oh. Stability hit. Ooh. Um, so, it's probably the end of that. If we're going to do anything with, like, excess Diplo power, it's probably just going to be development instead. Which still, you know, needs a while to pay off, but we could um, organize it around, like, institutions popping up and things like that to uh, help to increase the uh, the rate at which it happened. Uh, you are de-sieging that. I mean, the pops are pretty far away, but... Tempers or 4% chance every month. So it could happen, or it might not. Oh, I'm happy I've got some Scotland bits. And we'll go ahead... Yeah, there's no... We're so far ahead on military tech. We're just going to be looking to finish our quantity ideas now. That's going to be easy. Culture conversions are going. Coring is happening over here. We will have to go and change your religion. We could trade company over here. I don't know if that's what I want. I mean, the, the trade company investments are quite cool. I don't think I care about the North Sea trade nodes, so we'll probably just leave them as regular. But we could consider an English Channel trading company just to get maximum collection of value out of there. Siege of Moria is done. Please come to Zagreb. I might just drill you instead of... Uh... Do I, need, do I need to help out here? Because the siege has been lifted. I kind of have. I might have to go and kick some ass, actually, and help out with the war, finally. Um. Oh, I think this, uh, the Great Horde has been separate pieced out. That's probably why we lost some war score and why nothing's occupied over here. Because I think the Great Horde was against us in war. So the war is actually going fine. So no, just come here. We'll get you to drill. And I don't care about the little Afghani troops that are running around in my territory. They're not enough to actually cause any issues whatsoever. Boom, 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 boom. 
the Reese Separatist is going to be fine. Theodoro. Uh, again, I might want a harsh treatment these guys just because I have no troops nearby. Let's say hey, absolutism. How are we doing on that, by the way? 54. Treasury or prestige? Let's do the treasury. Although we're not capped on prestige, we are capped on power projection. We'll recall the diplomat with Denmark. That is um that is a lot of Norwegian rebels. Oh, that's like, why is this little stack being attrition? Because they're on a boat. And that is very legitimate. Foreign wisdom for military power. Well, I mean, sure. We've got the idea group to go through. What the? Look at that movement. What the hell? That's weird. All right, we'll do this. Um, I could get an extra general. We do have the cap for it. Right? Because I think I can have up to four. Yeah. I like it. We'll recruit another general over here. Holy crap. Not as many siege pips, but you are going to be good. We'll do some rebel suppression over here. Scotland and Rebels. Name a more iconic pair. Um, and then we're just going to bring you over here. Now, if England, if we get in a war against England, these guys are going to have a bad time because there's not that many of them. Actually, let me put you in here because at least we'll get the hills defensive thing. Now, what kind of allies do you have, Scotland? Just Sweden and the Papal States? Oh. So you're telling me if I declare one of the Papal States... Because of defensive war, it ignores the truce limitations, so Scotland might answer the call, which means we could go and beat them up some more. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. I'll just stop them. That's going to be fine. Um, I'm assuming we've got some more military cap. Not a ton, but some. Let's bring it to 10. Let's do this. And that'll put us over, but not by much. And we've got um, autonomy going down everywhere, so that cap should be fixed. And actually, at this point, since we are fairly wealthy, we're probably going to want to slap down some regimental cap uh, camps in places. Um, honestly, well, let's sort by places that have the most building slots. We might want them kind of everywhere. Uh, although, when we do finish our quantity ideas, we'll get 50% more. So we're going to have plenty of room for that. Let me change the rebel stomp so that you... Hard to see take over there. So I think that will have lifted yours? Yeah. It's a little hard to see. And you'll do a bit of that. Although I would like to be doing some drilling. Maybe I should just let these separatists trigger. Yeah, you know what? Let me move over here. We can, um, we can actually just pop them. Yeah, let's do a lot of that. Let's change plans. We're just going to do drilling here. Um, Scotland might be worth... Oh, it might still be worth triggering them. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, you. Oh shit, I'm at war. I can't provoke you. All right, well, I guess that's the way it's going to have to be. Now, this is a long war for Russia. Hopefully they're not going too deeply into debt or anything like that. But I don't really feel an urge to necessarily run out there and help them. Okay, Ottomans are making claims. We do have to take another crack at the Ottomans soon. So what's nice about our position now is we have a lot of different directions that we can go into that um, will help us spread out the aggressive expansion. And we're sitting on infinite manpower. So... We probably should just be warring right away. Especially if the Ottomans are busy. <laughs> As I talk about it. Hey, uh... Did you know your truce with the Ottomans just ended? Really? Mm, that is quite interesting. I guess that hasn't updated yet. April Fools. Bohemia as well, but that's less valuable. Tunis and Fars rules over that. That's all fine. We can take the conquest, but really we probably just holy war for things. France is willing to jump in. I mean, yeah, right? I think so. Let's grab these two fleets. 
park them in the Sea of Marmara right away. I really wish I could provoke these rebels. Because this is actually going to be kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh, the unrest is really low. So I guess why the percentage... I mean, we do have all our troops sitting there. I already declare war now. So, by ourselves, we have reduced numbers. With France, we have an edge. What's their military tech? 19. We've got 19. We're not about to get this. How do I feel about starting right now versus is there a reason I might want to take a bit of a beat? Oh, and some of my troops are tied up over here too, so I don't really have everything. Oh yeah, they're not cored, so we can't build anything there, but it is currently corn. I suppose it might make sense to wait just a tick. It would be perhaps convenient if they if Russia could end this war. So we could just provoke the rebels. Take care of them, and then and then go. I think I might go a little more over cap on our troops, I'm not sure. Well, especially since we are constructing some additional camps over here for that. Not to mention the forts. Um this here. Yeah, let's upgrade you, actually, the Star Fort. I think that's going to be valuable. I think it's going to be extremely valuable. Come on, Russia. Because it would be nice if I could get you to... Oh, there we go. That's over, and our rebels popped. Uh, we lost an admiral, but that's fine. Okay, favors, favors, favors. We're going to go to... Um, we're going to provoke you guys. Wait, where's the other? Didn't we just have some other rebels popping somewhere? Oh, I think it's I think it was the Swedish separatists that we just got the message about. Um, is anyone else close? Scottish separatists, which actually yes. Uh, where are they looking to pop? Or sure, Dumfries. Twenty regiments. All, was all there, which is unfortunate, but that should be okay. I guess you were already in automatic suppression, so you would have done it, but we'll do that. Uh, Theodoro, which is over here, we don't want you to pop, so I'm going to harsh treatment you. Although, you're probably not ticking very quickly. Um, 7.4 years, yeah. And then I can't do the Gallic Separatists, because they're not at 50%. Okay. What I might do is start here, or do I want a beeline for constant? Hmm. I was thinking of here because we could provide a buffer for Crete and sort of push out this way. Or central, or cut this off, or yeah, just... Honestly, I think we need to beeline for Constantinople. So maybe I will position over here. I'm going to finish this one. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Oh, movement speed. Yes, please. And we're going to move you over there. We're going to merge these two. We only have the one Admiral right now. He's fine. He's not great. I don't have a lot of... Uh... Ooh. The maneuver is really good for sea battles, I think. So we're going to do that. Did I not start moving you? Please can be moving over here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, won the Rebel battle. So... So Argyle is going to get Gaelic Separatists. It'd be nice if they hit 50% before we started the war. Did you, did you get a tick? Because they have to be 50% to be provoked. I'm not doing Rebel Stomping. What's their percentage? Uh, 3.98. See, that's relatively quick. Although, I guess if I just do Rebel Stomping over here, it'll slow it down. Plus, the coring's happening. You know what? All right, we'll just um, do this. Put on the Rebel Suppression, and you should be okay. We shouldn't have to worry about you. All right, so we're going to wait for our troops to get in position over here, and I think it's go time against the Ottomans. Um, what might be worthwhile... Let's see, how's the war deck right now? So Russia's not interested. They would be. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, this would... 
uh, whoops. This would spend the favor. How does that work? Oh, I'm at 34. Never mind. So it's fine. We're going to ask prepare for war. Don't start your own war. Same thing over here. Prepare for war. Because I still need a couple of days before we go. Um, I, I think actually I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stability up by one. I think we'll appreciate the extra stability. I had the admin to spend. And yeah, we weren't going to be triggering these guys anyway. With the rebel stomping now and then the extra stability is going to be all right. Sure, Russia, you can have military access. All right, let's go now. Before anything changes and destroys things. We're going to go Holy War. Bring you two in. Done. Beeline to Constantinople. We're just going to park next door to be ready to reinforce. Won the sea battle. Uh, ooh, that might be one we just captured. I don't know. Uh... That's really damaged. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Repair Damage Ship. But, say, I don't want you going anywhere. You might not have went anywhere, so that might have been okay. I'm going to move the fully healthy dudes over here to take this on. Gorgeous. You're going to come over here. Actually, I guess you can dock here. That's going to be fine. I'm just going to provide a little bit of cover with this fleet. And then I'm going to go back to the Sea of Marmara here, which is on the sea side of the port, so our siege... Show me the siege, thank you. Yeah. We don't have the minus two. In fact, we have a plus one because of our leadership thing, which is great. So we're going to hit the capital immediately. Um, it might be convenient to take on the other side as well, just so that we've got control over the strait, even if we don't have our ships over here. Um, there's not a fort here, so they can take it back pretty easily. Transport's over here. We're not going to worry about them. Yeah, far's over here. Too far. They're too far's away for us to really concern ourselves with them. Oh, you can't get there because of the adjacent fort, which I guess makes sense. Okay, well, now that there's not there, but that's going to have to be okay. Um, I might want to prioritize the forts on this half. On the other hand, I don't think they've got any troops over here. So I think we want to concentrate... Hmm, I don't know. Detach and get close. We'll just leave a couple of goobers over here. They're not going to be able to do the place protected by the fort. But yeah, we'll take some land on the other side. Keeping our troops fairly concentrated. There we go, Scottish. Stay, um, am I want to get a state over here? Probably? Let me just think about it for now. Either Right now, their autonomy is going to be too high anyway for it to really matter. So I'll just wait a tick before I make any other decisions. And yeah, we'll just grab some random land here to prevent them from being able to at least, you know build troops. There, sure, it's been cored. And we're going to do some more conversions. Done. Which will help our stability long term. Short term, it's going to get a little less stable, because they're going to resist the conversion, but... Um, how do I feel about... Let me dock everyone over here. Uh, detach everyone, and... Okay, there's an enemy fleet. How dangerous are... Oh, they're very dangerous. Seven heavy, 67 galleys. Yeah, that's actually incredibly dangerous. So I'm happy we've just parked. We're going to stay parked. Because they will kick our ass. Oh! Oh! Coalition's now a thing that's happening. Really? So I guess there's there's enough countries that could do it. Two of only, only two have joined. But I guess there's enough countries that could do it that they've decided to get it started. Alright, what is this here? A target of covert actions. Bohemia, Austria. Neither one of them are scary enough to worry about. Okay, Crete is 
having rebel problems. Russia's up in here to help out. That's good. Yeah, we're just providing some cover over here. I could, I could set some carpet siege things, but... Well, we could go... You know what? We could probably do this fairly safely. Mm -hmm. So, coalition situation might just get a lot worse here after I finish this. But what am I going to do? Not kick everyone's ass? Pfft, come on. Come on. Grab this, in case we lose control over the straight, we'll have both sides. Uh, oh, okay, this is okay here. I guess their ships are parked, but I'm still a little bit leery about sending my fleet out, because we will get our ass kicked by those guys. Well, we can do a little blockading for speed, which wouldn't be terrible. France all up in here. And yeah, it is nice, we've got a couple of really good allies to protect ourselves from this coalition stuff. See, I'm not even going as quickly as I can, and still the coalition might be a little bit of a problem for us. Again, manageable now, but it, it could go it could go bad pretty quick. We'll grab Bigga because it will give us control of another straight. Savoy, there we go. There we go. Get some extra manpower cap. We might turn out to need it soon. Okay, siege done. Salzburg. Now, the more people that join, obviously the stronger they are and the more confident they are, but the more likely it is that someone's going to feel like they can start some shit that uh, might kick our butt. Or just start some shit that might be annoying. But we'll see. Was trying to manage the truce timers, but we did let a bunch of them slip. At least with the Ottomans, we will have a truce. We're going to really try to go for like a 100% war score um, peace deal here. What is that? Oh, I think this is a vassal of the Ottomans. Um, let's see that first. Regional nobility challenges Croatia. We can get some rebels. I mean, the rebels are fine. I'm just going to wait until France moves out of there so they don't get insta-booped. We'll do this. France will probably go and take care of that for me. Genoa Coalition. Alright! I'm getting the memo. Everyone's kind of cranky. I see how it is. And yeah, so France is going to occupy a bunch of stuff over here, but it'll be occupied by me. France is even clearing out our Cretian uh, rebels, which is nice. Culture change. Occupations. Auto carpet siege some stuff over here, please, and thank you. 40% war score currently. Might be worth going all the way to Fars and just, you know, separate piecing them out, but I don't think it matters. Okay, so I died losing stability. Our next heir is awesome. Queen, everlasting friendship. Points are getting up there. Denmark, if uh, you were to die right now, personal union would continue. You do have these Swedish Separatists. Am I going to have to go and deal with that for you? Hmm. I'm going to boost this again. I think I like that. Plus it spends a little bit. We're going to need some more Diplo Power soon. Or we're going to need a Diplo Power Sink soon. Um, we're going to have to send some troops to Denmark, probably, because it looks like they are having some issues. Uh, you know what? I'll take the Diplo Power hit here. So we actually could use the Prestige, and High Prestige is valuable for lots of things. You know, morale, less aggressive expansion impact, which is kind of relevant. Um, that is a fairly scary Ottoman army. I 
that we lost that siege tick, or that we didn't get the siege there. I come here just to get the speed boost on this so that maybe we can merge up. I don't want to lift this siege. Okay, that's good. Uh, why can't I get there? What? Oh, it's because of ISIL. Try to dodge these guys. Yay, conversions. jump on this stack here. And you're going to force march in this direction. Because none of their troops are nearby. So we should be able to boop some of their numbers. You know, limiting their strength. That's going really fast too. Any chance that we just stack like them? No, they did get away. Oh, you can't move. Oh, that was probably, yeah, those are a group of two here. You can't get there. Oh, Halab! Halab is the fort. Um, this is really shit moving. Okay, you know what? No, everyone's gonna come over here. Group up. I guess I can't change the leader because we're in foreign territory. Uh, I don't know if I want to attack those guys into the highlands. Oh yeah, I can't move there. I have to take ISIL. Luckily France is buzzing around. So I have to stand here. No matter what. Um, What am I going to do fleet-wise? I still can't really challenge these guys. They're too dangerous. It's too bad because I would like to get the siege boost. Can I do... I'm going to spend military power for a barrage get those walls down right away. Don't use that button very often, um, which I think is fair right now because we're still working on our quantity ideas. Uh, so not using it very often is probably the ideal, but this is a great opportunity for it. Here, I'm gonna do that. Do that. So our transport's over here. I think this, yeah, this transport fleet's gonna be safe. France is making some moves. I wish I could help out, but I gotta stand here and do this. We are getting a lot of attrition standing here, but I do have plenty of manpower currently. Oh! Wait. <gasps> I must have captured a transport. Although apparently I'm kicking ass right now. Okay, I have higher base morale. We're still gonna win this? I mean, they have much stronger ships. Nope. Shit. Um, we had a transport. Uh, fuck. Okay. We lost an extra battle for nothing because I toggled off automatic transport. That was weird as shit. That was actually really annoying. I'm um, sure you guys can all have military access. I don't know. Whatever. Just don't declare war on me. That would be a bad time. These automated transports are fine. Yeah, we're just going to help out Denmark with their Swedish rebels. Like, I can't hit, like, the button to, like, do it harder. I mean, I could assault, but we're not going to... Well, actually, they have very few troops. I don't know, I guess I don't have to rush out of here. There we go. Got the win. Hmm. We can hit these guys with a nearly, not exactly, but nearly two to one advantage, although they've got some reinforcements nearby, but what about France? Oh, we'd be attacking to the Highlands. 
which seems poor. But if we do this, because you're moving out of here... 27th, 7th, we're going to get there, and 3rd... Yeah, so some of these guys will have moved out, some of them won't. So we're going to be attacking part of their... I thought some of them were moving out on the 7th! This is not what I intended. At least France is nearby, and actually, we're, apparently we're going to win anyway. Let me stop some reinforcements coming in. All right. Okay, this has not been as smooth as I would normally like, but... I mean, the bright side is we can pretty much peace out with them whenever we want. I'm going to do a shift consolidate here. Which does slow down the reinforcement rates, because each of the regiments reinforces, you know, tick per month. Uh, we can finish this. Land attrition. And, oh yes, new ideas and that. Hang on. Let's take field priests and prayer books. Now, that's going to put us over our military cap by one. But now we got 15% boost to our morale. The siege ability, the morale recovery speed. I mean, the morale boost is really good. Because the more morale we have over someone, the more morale damage we do in battle. So, like, we're turning into France a little bit over here. So reinforcing, and we are still the attacker in the Highlands, but... It's a very good situation for us. We're going to smash them pretty well. Great to grab some more of these, but I might want to do the reinforce. I actually might want to look into just piecing out at this point. I might want to just come back over here and see what we can do. Um, yeah, you tell you what, I'm gonna stop your auto movement. I'm gonna park the transports over here. So we can rebuild more troops over here, perhaps. It's oh, you're actually fine. Well, tell you what, I'll help you. Uh, oh, I can't auto desiege this. Boo. I guess um, this is gonna get desieged when you take your fortress back over here. So I'll just go and grab that one for you. Now, I don't know what's our priority for taking here. Um. Oh wow, so that, yeah, that won't even contribute to coalitions. You could finish some states. That's enough to bring Venice in by doing this. Which they might instantly join the coalition that already exists, which would be slightly annoying. But the big thing, really, is to make sure the Ottomans... There's not Genoa. Okay, the Ottomans would bring in if I did this. But not here. So... Coalition, Bohemia, Austria, Salzburg, Savoy, Venice, Genoa. That should be completely manageable. Um, we have tons of power projection, so I don't really need to throw in another Humiliate. Okay, we you... Oh, you do that. Because um, I was going to say, it might be nice to get the trade, but they're not willing to do too much more. We could go and hit some more. We could vassalize these guys. I don't think... I think that will be useful. We could f use them as another base to start wars and feed them land. I don't know. It just feels pretty awkward to me. I think I'd be happy to take a chunk of land over here. A good amount of money. Um, did you have any treaties that were going to be annoying? The answer to that was no. I could just have you release a bunch of nations. Now, that would be a way... So, okay. I want to take as much land as I can without starting... Uh, without doing the coalition stuff. After that, I want to do a combination of things that boosts me and also damages them. Taking a bunch of their money boosts me and damaging them. Me forcing them to release nations doesn't boost me unless it gives me just another target or something like that. I think I'm fine with this. I think I'm fine with taking the cash. Um, we could have this war continue longer. I do have plenty of manpower. Maybe... Well, apparently I need to put a cut in this video, so I will do that. Is there any... Is there truly a good reason to peace out at this point? You know, I think I like it. I think I'm going to go for this. 
I'll put a cut in here. I'll give it some thinking between episodes. I think I'm okay with piecing out. Um, if I took more, then we would have a longer truce, which would give the aggressive expansion, or the uh, coalition stuff, well, aggressive expansion, longer to burn away. On the other hand, right now, we have a slightly shorter truce. I mean, not short, but shorter. That's 12 years. But it probably means the next time I go after them, I can take a lot more land and then go for a maximum truce. Because they're, they're hovering around 50 aggressive expansion is what's going to happen from there. So that'll give us a lot of time to burn it away. It won't be completely gone, I don't think. And we just take another go at them. This keeps me in a bit of more of a stable position in case this coalition does trigger. But again, my alliances are so good, I don't even know if that's much of a risk. Hmm. Force them to give up a lot of land would actually be nice. Okay, I'll put in a cut, and I'm going to think about this. Because we might actually want to beat them up some more. We'll see. It's a shame about my ships, though. That's that's the only thing. That is the only thing. I guess we got our um, we got our flagship back. Or did we just lose the... Um, we just lost the Venetian flagship, maybe. I don't know. Hard to tell. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.